awesome, but I'm not holding my tongue for anybody because anytime I try to be nice, then right. Can I talk about one thing that? What do, you, what do you want, pedophile? You know what happens? I I have the bad wick effect. I give all these losers the fucking self-esteem boost they need. Then Sailor thinks he's hot shit. Medicare and no, uh, no, and, no, and no. Beefy? Is that why you're no, 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 you know, you're Mr. Santa Medica? You're just so <laughs> not cool. You're so not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, really yeah. Leroy thinks she's hot shit. Oh, you yeah, jerked okay, off buddy. to Lolly. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah, 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 yeah sure, Imagine, sure. Imagine trying to get away with this. Triton thinks he's hot shit. You have no point of being here because you literally are a Lolly. No, I have here. a point. Like, you I don't care if you like out. it or not. Like, I, 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 I'm not going to be, like, there's just no reason for me to try to prop up your self-esteem anymore. Like, there's no nice bullshit. <laughs> you know, it's so stupid. So... Mr. Sin is a notorious commentator who is arguably disliked by a lot of people for various reasons. But lately, Sen has just been embarrassing himself, stream after stream. His most embarrassing moment, or arc I should say, is his little crusade against lyrics. If you don't know, for the past couple of months, he's been obsessed with lyrics. I mean seriously, this guy has made several community posts and tweets going at lyrics. Like this one right here. What the fuck does this have anything to do with lyrics at all? He didn't even cover this. Oh, but wait, 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 though. He's doing it just to humble lyrics for going after low-hanging fruit. So like, I'll, I'll, go ahead and, I'll go ahead and say, like, for example, and this is why, like, I think the lyrics not attacking certain people. Like, mm -hmm. here's the thing. Lyrics has no problem punching down. This has already been established. That's why I'd never like to look at this, like, he's the innocent victim and all this. No, because he's punched down on people before, and he knows people that are, like, not mentally stable or, like, retarded or something, and he's gone at them before. Like, it's not like he's not he's not above doing that. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, no, 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 sorry. It's to show the double standard in the community. Yeah, do you not agree that it's kind of stupid to demonize others for much less um, when this guy seems to be getting just a pass all around the board? This is in regards to Tipster, which Tipster has gotten a lot of shit for Lollycon, even though he's never consumed the actual product. The only thing that Tipster has ever done is defend people that uh, get into these situations, one which included lyrics at a time before they had beef, and then, you know, that went sour. But he did defend lyrics initially. Um, there's also that one rum chick. There was Vosh okay, whoa, recently. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. This is the real reason. Everybody says, oh, why is Lolly Sen calling out lyrics? It's like, because I've gotten more shit. <laughs> like, maybe this is to your bitter point. Maybe I am really bitter about this. I've gotten more <laughs> shit. Maybe maybe I've gotten more shit than, than like, for, for much, much less than he has. Like, I have, like, video evidence here. I have fucking archives. I have this, this, and that. But it's always disregarded sure, as sure. you're, like... Oh, uh, but let's not forget his grand tour of debating a bunch of lyrics as mods and associates of lyrics as well. He's also trying to make this argument against me or any of the lyrics of viewers that apparently making... A tipster is a lolly lover joke is somehow sweeping for lyrics. Uh, and then Skelly, that Skelly guy, which I think is another lyrics mod. He's calling tipster a pedo for much, much less. And it's Skelly's like, just like a general sir. Like he yeah, just hops guess, around. But, really. like, but yeah, but still, it's like, but tipster, he didn't do half the shit this other dude did. And like, oh, uh, yeah. What? I mean, I agree with Sid. Even like, like Skelly. Yeah, Skelly's another one, that guy. What is takes it? every like, opportunity. He takes every opportunity to call tipster a pedophile, even if it's just a meme, but he won't do it with the lyrics like ever. I think he's a mod too. It's like, this is stupid, bro. You guys are dumb. Yeah. I'm sorry, but calling it this guy a lolly lover is funnier than calling it this guy right here one. It's like, you want to provide nuance for certain people, but then for others, you don't. Like, for example, I've never heard Matt Pitt crack the hundred or thousand year old lolly joke at Lorex, like, ever. Yeah. Never heard anybody do That's that. Never happened. Because, because I've seen them do it to you, but I've never seen them do it to Lorex. Do you know, do you know how many now recording videos they made on me? Like, no, I don't. It's <laughs> I didn't like, pay attention to them. Bro, it's like four or five. They are obsessed with me. They're absolutely, like, obsessed with me. And then the moment I mention them, obviously, they get really excited because they, they want the attention. According to Sen, I guess you're not allowed to make jokes calling people like food shops and tips or lolly lovers without attacking lyrics but let's address that commentary double standard he keeps talking about now yes i won't deny it there is one hell i even brought it up in the debate i had with sen however sen keeps acting like as if lyrics got away with his likes and nobody bullied him for it and he was just accepted into the community with open hands when that's not the case if anything he was called out for it. he was bullied he was blocked by multiple people hell there's the reason why he left multiple times however when he came back a third time what did he do he fucking cut that shit out and started focusing on making content he made videos against michael berto tipster jalen savo and then guess what he moved on to bigger targets like the super mega situation mama max plague moth 
the James Key situation with two men, and most recently, the George Not Found allegations. And since then, he has moved on past that stuff, and he has said that he denounces all that, and he regrets doing it, and that is just some cringe shit. Unlike Flamenco, who keeps trying to argue that he never jerked off to it, or that he's not into it, even though there's evidence that he did jerk off to it, and that he spread it around. And Tipster, I mean, come on. Do we really have to bring up Tipster's situations with Lolly? Come on now. So when Sen says that Flamenco and Tipster got hated on for much less in lyrics, nah, I think honestly, it was well deserved. Now earlier I brought up Plague Moth, and you see, Lyrics was in the middle of interviewing Plague Moth, and was doing a pretty decent job as he was pointing out a lot of the inconsistencies with Moth's defense, and really the many lies he told. But towards the end, Sen tried to sabotage it by sending Moth all the info he had on Lyrics, which, as you guessed it, Moth tried to use it as an out as Lyrics had backed him into a corner. Now, keep in mind, prior to all this, Sen tried covering the subject, but didn't really garner much attention. Probably because he did a shit job. But Sen had inadvertently proved Lyrics' point that Moth is a bad faith actor and a lying sack of shit. Oh, and... Guess what? Sen had Plague Moth on his stream right after that, so... Nice one, Sen! But let's get into the real reason why he's going after lyrics. And, would you guessed it? It's out of spite, which he's openly admitted to, but he says it's because he called him a retard for his opinion on the Savo leaks, but let's be honest, it's much more than that. I think it's time to talk about Sen's own lolly situation. So, back in 2020, Sen was caught in a scandal involving with a 34-year-old man who managed to catfish him using a lolly girl, and, well, they did some roleplay with Sen sending some really questionable messages. Now at first Sen owned up to it, but later he walked it back by saying that he was forced into owning it because apparently they had his stocks and they were going to release it, and that apparently a lot of the evidence was fake, that the Discord IDs didn't really match up, and that he was going to disprove all the allegations in a video. Keep in mind the video never came out, so yeah, and you'll see why. Now Sen denied this for four years until March 20th of 2024. Comic Crow, Toy Bunny Hunter, and Steve DeLeaf hosted a stream that had the smoking gun of Sen's big lie. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Watch, watch this really quick. These are these are DMs that uh, Sen had with Toy Bounty Hunters on his old Discord ID. And to be clear, you can create more than one Discord ID, just like when Lyrics, Les Sen said, had an old Twitter account and he deleted it because he was caught with a bunch of stuff and he created a new one to hide away from the bad stuff from the old account. So now we're just gonna play the video, John, please. So here's, here's the problem, Sen. This Discord account is having DMs with John back in 2019, right? Uh, there's no denying that. Those, those aren't like uh, fake DMs. These are real DMs from his Discord. Okay, th th that's the ID from the Discord messages with Kitty. So you're saying that the Discord ID does not, never belong to you, it's not yours. The problem is John's having DMs with that same Discord account back in 2019 before it was deleted. And he has the source code which links up with the exact same Discord that was sexting and doing the lollicon shit with Jared. First hand account. Well, I, I just want to, I, 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 I'm just curious here, okay? Um, because if that Discord doesn't belong to you, right? Mm -hmm. and, and there's this group of people that are blackmailing you to, to admit to being uh, a fucking lollicon or whatever. Does that mean that John was back in 2019, back before you had any beef with him, because the beef started, what, like last year, right? Back then... John was John was talking to the person that was actually uh, uh, conversing with Jared and just pretending to be you. Uh, I I don't know how to answer that. Well, that's... I will think about it. For like I lost minutes. my train of thought. I don't even know what to say to that. Before Sen says anything, yes, Sen, I know you're watching. Yes, I know about Steve the Leave and Comic Crow's history. All right, I know they're not favored by everyone and they have a very shady history. But guess what though? This video is not about them. It's about you, Sen. It's about your big lie. And this stream right here that they hosted, they got you. They got you in 4K. That's the truth of it. And that's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. They got his ass, and Sen couldn't do anything about it. He couldn't deflect. He couldn't meme about it. He couldn't even continue lying because they not only showed one piece of evidence, but they showed two pieces of evidence that were damning. There was no other way for Sen to escape this other than to accept the truth. And not only was Sen exposed that day, but any chance of him proving the double standard in the community, or trying to expose lyrics, or really anything that he wants to cover in the future is gone. His credibility is absolutely gone. 
Sen absolutely lost that day. And he was salty about it. Because after this, Sen went on a press tour by joining multiple live streams and really saying a lot of nothing while also trying to make it about Crow and yet getting into multiple fights with commentators and orbiters. Lily, Lily, can I talk about one thing? That what do you, what do you want, pedophile? Look, because of your I'm schedule. not gonna fight with then you. Then why would you man. say it's one or the other fight. if you knew you couldn't show up to one? You. What the fuck you did you say to me? Wally. What you did you say to me, Ben? You really think what we're did in you the same boat here? Answer you the really, fucking question, you bitch. I don't give a fuck if you talk to me or well, not. Well, I wanted to call you a faggot, so maybe that was like part of the reason. Nobody's been on my side. I don't fucking care. I don't care, Tranny. And sense of pedophile. I guess that really invalidates my argument. Is that a medico? Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. One, two. Oh, but wait! It doesn't end here, ladies and gentlemen. No, you see, Sen decided to go and cry about commentary to other creators. One of being a Hollywood Huggy, who has a channel with over 100 subscribers. The other one being Food Shops, who has a channel of over 3k subscribers. Yes, that Food Shops. The one who thinks we should look at Lolly in a nuanced light? Sen, buddy, you're not gonna beat the lolly allegations with this. But anyways, he did the typical thing, oh, commentary's bad faith, they're all sheeps, you know, they don't deserve a platform because they get all confident, they think they're in the big leagues, yada yada yada. Nothing too interesting out of these, just typical Sen crying, except for one moment where it was revealed that Sen had lyrics' docs at one point. Okay, so there's this um, there's this one sector YouTube, well, not a YouTuber, sector mm -hmm. uh, orbiter named Austin that ended up getting like Lorex's full docs, like his street address and shit. Jesus. And, uh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah, and apparently he's been handing it out to people like in uh, like random fucking group chats and and shit. What? And whatever. Okay, not nah, okay. That's yeah, that's way too far. What the heck? Yeah. That's so crazy. then at that point, I'm like, well, yeah, let's uh, let's, yeah. let's take a step back here, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like it was. Like I, I thought it was funny because Lyrics, just to make it fair, he lived pretty close to me. Um, nobody knows where the hell I'm from. I mean, maybe, maybe that Austin guy knows, but mm -hmm. yeah, I thought it was funny. We, we, we got more in common than uh, I wanted to admit. Like we even lived pretty close to each other. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the thing with that. Wait, wait, you know? wait! You weren't you weren't spreading that around, were you? Like, like. No, that was him. No, when I saw it, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, well. That's no, insane. I've, like, I've... that's a that that's like fifty steps removed from just his first name. He admitted yeah. he admitted it, and he had no shame. <laughs> he was like, <sighs> he said this in like a small commentary, um, like server. That's to be yeah. fair, it's like kind of like a trash fire in there anyway. But and he just you blatantly he, all that he did didn't this. give a shit. He just didn't give a shit. He literally said, "Yeah, I spread his his docs to like." Uh, a bunch of group chats because he's a pedophile and I'm proud of it. Yeah, that uh, seems a little insane. Maybe yeah, it's just a guy... <laughs> little bit unhinged. You think? Maybe, maybe yeah, a little no, bit I off agree. the locker. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he is. A, that guy is a total piece of shit. Nobody should trust him. And I, yeah. I guess like people in commentary, some of them, some of the orbiters, mm -hmm. even said he was like a backstabber and this and that. Yes, he's referring to Austin No Powers, ladies and gentlemen, which if you've seen some of the videos on this channel, you know Austin finally becoming a doxer isn't really a surprise. I mean, I knew this was coming. But anyways, yes, Austin sent, or what he thought was, Lyrics' docs to Sen, and Sen's reasoning was apparently he wanted a boxing match or to know how close he was. Sen, you looked on Hinge when you asked for that type of shit. Not to mention, you've even said yourself that you disavow doxing like what the fuck are you trying to get at here oh but it gets even better you see while i was editing this video or recording this sen decided to reach out to lyrics and apologize to him yes after saying that he was never going to apologize to lyrics and after going on for weeks on end trying to expose the double commentary and how much lyrics is a DJ and this and that, he decides to fucking apologize, which, I mean, if he's apologizing, doesn't that also mean he's backtracking everything? I mean, it says right here, I'm sorry for the week that I caused you. Really? So everything that you've said was just bullshit, it didn't mean anything, it's just something that you can write off? Now, what was Lyrics' response, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, well, he just shat on him and called him pathetic and he leaked his DMs with him. And, of course, Sen being the little pussy princess he is, decided to make this video right here. Which, don't even bother watching. It, it's literally the same thing. He just takes a clip from one video about Lyrics, which is, again, covering his likes, and that's it. And towards the very end, you can tell he's very spiteful. He's very spiteful that Lyrics made fun of him. Sen, it's over. Your little crusade, it's a failure. Your whole mask, 
your little persona of being the no fucks given, you know, cool guy. I look down on everyone persona. It's over. Oh, also forgot to mention, but franchise, the guy who's been on Sen's ass, released this video as well, which I do recommend watching, which is a pretty good video. I strongly recommend it. Before we end off today's video, you guys, I want to leave off with two things. One is this message for you, Sen. Sen, you're a loser. You're absolutely pathetic, right? You, it's obvious you're mad at lyrics because the guy's gone respect. He's moved on. He doesn't focus on the shit. He doesn't debate people. He doesn't dwell on this like you do, right? It's obvious. You wish you had the support and credibility and respect that lyrics has. While you, you're just looked down upon. You're really nothing more than a Spurg with a massive ego and 20k subs. You're no better than everyone. I mean, hell, you say you're making money off of all of us yet. Your channel doesn't look like it's been doing too good and you haven't been live streaming. So really, where's the profit? So you're a massive loser, Sen. You're a pussy. Second, I want to end this video off with a message from one of Sen's biggest fans. Someone that he absolutely loves and he himself loves Sen as well. And I think... I think it's fitting for uh, for this guy to end the video off. So, take it away, Lord Triton. Main problem with Mr. Sen, he's, he's very hypocritical. Like, he called out lyrics, implied that lyrics was a pedo, and straight out called Flamenco a pedo for less, even though he was caught literally role-playing as a underage girl, Lolly, and got off to it. But he called them out for less. And then, um, once he finally got caught, projecting then he finally um was trying to be friends with them and both of them said fuck you get a job and then he's beefing with them again obsessing over them again harassing him over again that just shows you that mr sen is not sorry and he doesn't care what he's done and he doesn't care he doesn't care that he's a hypocrite he's scaly shout out to you you know he's scared it had to be the win because nobody wasn't there i searched and i searched as i climbed up the wall and then i started to fly i went in default